Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor or Tayrex Mua, makeup artist, makeup enthusiast, makeup lover, all things makeup. I know I don't have makeup on right now, but I did a really cool look earlier on my live. I basically just took a video from my live and condensed it down to a little tutorial. All the little clips are sped up, but I really love this makeup look and I just knew I needed to share it. It's some of my best work. So make sure you stay tuned, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Today I started my routine with my eyebrows. I normally don't, but I wanted to use the brow stamp on my live and talk about it. I did get them a little crooked and had to go through with a Q-tip to clean it up, but that happens. And in the end, they looked pretty good. Next, I prepped my eyes with the Juvia's Place Eye Primer. I bought this a few weeks back and it has really just become one of my favorite eye primers. It is so good. If you haven't tried it, try it. I wasn't able to pick up pot two, so pot one it is. To start this look, I'm just taking the shade Freetown and I'm going to place it and just kind of lightly blend it up until I have the shape I want and then it'll make it a little easier to transition into the other shape. Sometimes it feels like makeup is all about blending because you do have to blend a lot. Next, I am taking the shade Roadie and placing that from my inner corner and connecting it to Freetown. And then I'm taking the best color and I'm adding that on top. And I'm just going to start placing the shadows and blending them out and placing and blending, you know, repeating that process until I have exactly the blend I want. I am going to take this color all the way up to my brow bone because that is just what I do. There's just so much blending involved, so many steps you don't see when I do a tutorial on TikTok because there's never enough time. Gonna palette hop over to the Jeffree Star Star Ranch palette just for the shade Casper Mountain under my brow. And then I am going to cut my crease with micellar water and a Q-tip. That is just my preferred method. Then I went back in with some more Juvia's Place primer. And while that dries down, I am going to add some stuff under my eye. I took the shade Loop and added that. I wasn't really satisfied with the color. I wanted a deeper green, but there's just not a deep green in this palette. So I went in with Bonehead to kind of add a little bit more, like, depth I guess to the color and that kind of seemed to do the trick. I also added Rhodey to kind of tie everything in together and then I'm going to take the shades Freetown and Rhodey and just kind of pop that right there at the edge of my eye to get a blend going and just make it look a little more seamless before I add stun in. I always do shimmers with my finger. That's just how I started out. I'm going to go back in with a brush just to kind of blend everything together. I'm also going to take some Freetown Roadie and the best color and just kind of re-blend and build that color up just a little more. I always do primer before my lashes. That way my primer can dry down. I use the Laura Mercier Pure Illuminating primer because I'm going to underpaint my contour and I just want to give an extra glow to my skin. While that's drying down, I'm going to do lashes using my Milk Makeup Kush Mascara to just sort of prep my eyes and some She Glam Lash Glue because I felt lazy and this is so much easier. Um, you just apply like two coats. While that's drying down, my color correcting and concealer routine. I picked up a orange concealer recently so I can get rid of the dark circles and I'm still kind of trying to perfect exactly how I place it but so far I really like this routine. Got to add a little more concealer on top just to help cover up that orange but I look so much more awake. I love it. Every makeup artist's favorite struggle, lashes. These actually went on fairly easy. Um, this is a style 3D 210 from She Glam. I just buy like basically bulk lashes. They come in so many different shapes and sizes and there's always a good variety. I love how natural these look and they did last all day. I had them on for hours. 
The lash glue is really good. I did use one thin coat of duo lash glue when I put them on as well. Underpainting using my Persona Multi Bronze Contour Stick. I use this to underpaint because it is pretty dark and it is really like creamy and thick and blends out like a dream. I did use way too much so I went through with one of my dry sponges and just kind of wipes them away and oh man I really did use too much I was a little excited but it's fine it ended up looking okay sometimes you just got to trust the process I also really like using this method um, and blending it in with the brush because once I have my foundation on if I need to add a little bit more to the contour I can just dot it on with my brush and I don't have to worry I added some concealer to definitely fix this crazy contour going on and that did help a lot. Like I said, sometimes you just have to trust the process. My foundation today is the She Glam Skin Finite Hydrating Foundation. As the name suggests, it is incredibly hydrating. It blends like a dream. It looks so good. It's buildable. Like I bought it on a whim and just fell in love with it. It's my favorite foundation. My skin always looks so good when I use it. It's almost like my skin, but better in a sense. And I do like full coverage, so I do build that up a lot. Fixing the color under my eye. I always do that right when I finish foundation. And then I'm going to set under my eye with the Fenty Pro Filter Lavender Powder and set my whole face with the e.l.f. powder. I just kind of tap it all over my face with the brush um, very lightly just to make sure everything's set and nothing moves around. And like I thought, I did need to add a little bit more warmth to my face, so I'm just using the excess contour product on my brush, and I just think that added so much depth and warmth to my face all at once. It's beautiful. I almost didn't want to add blush. I'm finishing off my brows with the e.l.f. Wow Brow Gel. Again, one of my favorite products. e.l.f. is amazing and this brow gel just cannot be beat. I might wear too much mascara. I don't know. <laughs> you guys decide. Going in with mascara again, make sure I get those bottom lashes. And then I'm using the She Glam Color Bloom liquid blush in Devoted. I went in really lightly because one of the last times I used this, it just like took over my whole face. So I really wanted to build it up instead of just like going in hard. I was going for a more lifted look. So I did want to try to keep it up high. I ended up kind of blending it down toward the apple of my cheeks because anytime I try to keep my blush up high, I just don't like how it looks. This blended in like a dream. It almost kind of looks like my skin. One of my favorite highlighters in the world is the Michaela Glam Light Highlighter. It's extra. It's beautiful. For lips, I wanted to do a nice subtle pink, so I used this Persona colored lip balm and topped it with some Michaela lip gloss. And then one of the girls in my live suggested that I do freckles, so I added some freckles. I've got the She Glam freckle tint, and I'm just going to dot that all over and then... Uh, pop my sponge all over my cheeks just to kind of like make them more muted and subtle. I do add a lot. I layer a lot of freckles on. It's a process. It takes so long, but it looked really cute. Once my freckles were done, I added a little bit more blush and some more highlighter just to kind of mute them even more. I am absolutely obsessed with how this look turned out. I hope you are too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok for daily makeup content. Have a great day.